on the 21st day of the month of September, in an early year of a decade not too long before our own, the human race suddenly encountered a deadly threat to its very existence. And this terrifying enemy surfaced, as such enemies often do, in the seemingly most innocent and unlikely of places.
Somebody say I get out of here So I'm giving my shot or oh, I'll rock here Downtown How did I feel? I'll get out of here Downtown I'll let my window get out of here Pass it 
I can see it. My God, I would not have believed it. My children, I'm taking us to death. Oh, I don't mean to miss too much things, but I have a date. With that same no good look. I'm telling you, Walter, you don't need a date with him. You need a major medical. He's not a nice boy. He's a professional. What kind of professional rides a motorcycle and wears a black leather jacket? He's a rebel, Mr. Mushnick, but he makes good money. And besides, he's the only flower I got. Enjoy dinner. Good night, Seymour. Good night. Poor girl. Are we still going to dinner? You're not going anywhere, Seymour. What's wrong with this thing? Why does it keep fainting all the time? I don't know, it just wilts like that. The Audrey 2 is not a healthy girl. Well, between you and me, neither is the Audrey 1. If I know what this was, then I'll be able to identify some of my bugs. Well, my suggestion to you is you figure out some facts. See what this exotic beauty did for business. No. So fix. Nurse that sit right back to help Seymour. I know. I'm counselling you. I know. You do? I do. So fit. Good night. Good night. Sweet, what am I supposed to do with you? Mr. Marshley and Audrey have just met you, but I have been gone for those beautiful weeks. Rose spot? Spot and flop. <coughs> you sick little plan for just being stubborn. What do you want? What do you need? Giving you sunlight, you're giving you dirt, you give the deep nothing. Yeah. 
that's for sure. But I can't leave him. And why not? He'd be angry. And if he does this to me when he likes me, imagine what he'd do if he ever got mad. So dump the show. Get another guy. Let him protect you. And we got one all bent down. A little botanical genius. And she is talking about George Washington Carver. Seymour? Bingo! Oh, we're just friends. I can never be Seymour's girl. I've got a past. And who amongst us has not? I don't even deserve a sweet, considerate, suddenly successful guy like Seymour. Mm -hmm. This child suffers from low self image. You have a point.
mama said. What did she say? She said, my boy, I'll fix someday. Say yes! Oh, Seymour! 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 Seymour!
your dad. I'll see you climbing up the public tree. I think you left the stage, but now I see that you're a man, so I'm proposing be my son. Gosh, Nick, come some, some great. Three words was a ring of things. So say a little
I'm showing papers. You were flat in an admin object. Does that fucking element to you, punk? If I can talk and I can move, let's just say I can't do anything I want. Like what? Ow! Like the little pal. Like so you get everything your secret, greasy, hot side. Would you like a Cadillac car? Or a gas shot on Jap Hall? How about a day with Hell of Mine? You're gonna get it. Thanks, he's off the nose. How'd you like to be your big wheel? Dining out for every meal. I'm the man to make it all real. You're gonna get it. Hey, I'm your genie. I'm your friend. I'm your willing slave. Take a chance, just read me in. You know the kind of easy kind of red hot trees, the kind of stinky linky streets I wear. Seymour, 
I may have to see the results when I'm glad to mouth it. Look, Seema. This is up to you. It could. Unless I take immediate action. Let's get started. Aren't you going to use Novocaine first? What for? So, say. But it'll hurt! Only till you pass out. What's up? <laughs> That's the drill, Seymour. But it's rusty! It's an antique. They don't make them like this anymore. <sighs> Sturdy. Heavy. Duh. <sighs> this is going to be a challenge. This is going to be a pleasure. I'm going to have some gas for this one. <sighs> gas? Nitrous oxide. I thought you weren't going to use any. Oh, the gas isn't for you, Seymour. It's for me. You see, I want to really enjoy this. And I found a little giggle gas increasing my pleasure in noise. In fact, yeah, I'm going to use a special gas mask. Just relax, Seymour. I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs>
standing beside you. You don't need no makeup. Don't have to pretend. Cause suddenly Seymour is here to provide you with sweet understanding. Seymour's your friend. Nobody Your life, oh, I think 
I'm innocent. I'm innocent. How do you explain this? A baseball cap. Your baseball cap. They found it in Scrivello's office, showed it to me, and asked if I could identify it. Did you? No! They don't speak to Thomas Seymour. But then again, they don't know about the dots, the uniform, the girlfriend. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Then come down to the police station and tell them that. He's got his back so straight. Do so my conscience. Rest easy. No, he's on your train. Because if you don't, I shall go tell them myself. He's gonna turn you in. Now we come. They're gonna put you in jail. Okay, okay, okay. He's got the good night. All set for supper time. Come on.
Have your phones been busy? Did you get out a telegram? I don't think so. But it's a good thing I came down in person then. Pleased to meet you, kid. Skip snip. William Morris Agency. Forget the cable we sent you. It's nice to meet me. The pleasure is yours. Now let my son represent you. You want to book you on lecturing tours. College campus Rotary Club.
Right after the live magazine from a takeout pitch tomorrow, you know who invited us. Right, I'll take a few snaps. We'll take that TV job. I'll become famous. And no more night meetings. No more spies of blood. What meeting? What blood? I don't get it, Seymour. Bullets, knives, rat poison. You scared me. Oh, Audrey, there's nothing to be scared of, okay? Who? Who come away from you?
sweetheart, wait for me. Crowbar? Seymour Crowbar. Leave me alone. Patrick Martin. Well, botanical enterprises. I've got a gilt edge proposition for you, boy. I'm not interested. Let me explain it in more detail. It's a very simple licensing deal. We take cuttings from the plant, develop little orchards, and sell them to florists across the nation. Pretty soon, every household in America will have one. We've got a truck waiting outside, and we're ready to start taking cuttings. Why? With the right appetite, these could be bigger than hula hoops. Bigger than hula hoops? Bigger than hula hoops? Much bigger. Every household in America! Thousands of you in! That's what you had in mind all along, wasn't it? No shit, Sherlock! <laughs> we are not talking about no, we're talking about no conquest! And I wanna thank you! You ain't the only thing I ever love! Ah, oh, too bad! You imposter! And now so am I! Feed me! Just 